thanks for watching. Uh, I'm playing a uh, 1973 Fender Mustang. It's it's a very pretty guitar. It's a guitar that I don't play too much, uh, so it takes a little bit getting used to. But this morning, I decided that I wanted to play it, and I thought it was right for this track. Now, this guitar does have some limitations. If you use a lot of gain, the pickups tend to want to feed back. So uh, I felt like this track is soft and it would be a good track for it. And uh, here's the here's just a good look at it. This guitar has a very unusual type of whammy system. It's different than the Strat, and uh, it's useful for that. I feel like that it's not uh, a very conducive guitar for or a guitar that's very conducive to bending because I usually bend and uh, this particular track it I felt like it kind of sounded like another track that I re already recorded so I tried to change it up a little bit and uh, I figured by using the Mustang which was a good guitar for the track I, I felt like it could set it apart a little bit and uh, hope you enjoyed what you just heard um, in other news, uh, my band is playing this weekend at the uh, the Hamtramck Music Festival, which is a festival that happens in Hamtramck usually every year. It has like hundreds of bands. We are called Volgers, and we're, we are playing at the Polish Sea League at 9 o'clock, and we're playing with two other bands, uh, Sisters of Your Sunshine Vapor and a band called Tart. Now, those are both uh, pretty good bands to be playing with and we're uh we're excited to be on the bill i think that we we got a pretty good uh slot we're playing at nine o'clock and uh on that gig i'm going to be playing a mexican strat it's the first strat i ever bought and uh that's the strat that i usually leave at my band practice and uh i should probably get reacquainted with it at home but uh, I always find that it's it's kind of stressful to change anything at the last minute. And so I'm playing uh, my Mexican Strat, which is pretty beat up. I don't have it right now. It's downstairs. And uh, I'm not going to be playing with any pedals except for one wah pedal. And uh, I just decided I just wanted to kind of just not use any pedals because there's always things that could go wrong with pedals. <clears throat> And uh, hopefully the sound will still be pretty good. Now the amp that I'm going to be using is going to be a Princeton 112, which is the first like real guitar amp that I ever had. And uh, that guitar has survived one house fire, another house fire, and uh, it did. I did blow the speaker out of it, but I put a, a different speaker in it a couple years ago, and it actually sounds better than it's ever sounded. And that sh that amp is kind of in rough shape, and it kind of has a touchy input jack. And I probably shouldn't be using it for the show, but I'm just nervous to, to use anything else. Because, like I said, uh, when you switch something out right before a gig, you're more likely to fail, it seems. Or it's just not going to be right. And so it would be a risk. I've been thinking about taking a risk and, and bringing like a more substantial, powerful, powerful amp. But it has to do with... Uh, <clears throat> not drowning everybody out because it, it can be effort to uh, balance yourself among other band members and I just find that changing something at the last minute is usually a bad idea. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me play this Mustang. Very pretty guitar. Now some people might change the pickups. I've been kind of tempted to because I would like to play it more full bore but I found I just think that uh, it's best just to appreciate stuff for what it is, you know. This is a good guitar for, for uh, surfy stuff, and it's, and it has this really cool whammy, and and uh, uh, I hope uh, to see some people at that show. If you're local in Detroit, you can come see us. We're called Vulgars, and we're playing with uh, Sisters of Your Sunshine Vapor and Tart, and uh, hope to see you there. Bye bye.